Mom, I can't talk right now because I'm doing a tutorial for Vogue. Okay, let me call you back. I don't think she cares. Hi Vogue, this is Jessica Alba. Watch me do a dramatic graphic eye look. I have kind of a dirty little secret. This is my first attempt at doing a graphic eye on camera with you. So here we go. I have my foundation on, so there's that. First, I'm gonna lay down the lighter pigment. I'm gonna use my finger. I'm just gonna put it right over the entire lid. Now I wanna blend it. Just get like a fluffy brush, and if you, in a circular motion, just kind of blend out around the edges, you can't really mess up. So now I'm going to use the wet lavender color. I'm gonna use it sort of like an eyeliner whenever I'm gonna do a thicker line on my eye. I like to use an angled brush with like a metallic or another color first. When you do go in with your liquid liner, with that fine tip, it allows you to sort of trace where you've already laid down the shadow. So now I'm gonna go in with that dark eggplant and I'm gonna wet it. Wetting a dry eyeshadow is a way to sort of treat it like a liquid liner, but it's a lot more forgiving. Because I did this initially with the lighter, I'm just sort of tracing over where that was. And I'm gonna go in with a little Q-tip and just kind of twist and clean it up. Now I have to do the other side. They're never even. It's really hard to get the right and the left matching. You can go in with a makeup remover wipe and if you put a really thin Q-tip and then you drape it over, you can just go in and fix any mess up and really even out that line. That's better. Okay, feeling good about this. So now I'm going for a fine tip liquid liner. The liquid liner just really pops and it looks great when it's next to the lash line. Make it as thick as you want, as thin as you want, and you can draw it out, you know, really as high as you want and at any angle. It's sort of your comfort level. Now oh, it looks a little crazy because I need my eyebrows on. I always like to go a little bit lighter than my actual hair color when I start mid and work my way out. But with a graphic eye, you need to have a strong brow because it balances out the face, you see the difference. I think with a graphic eye, you need to have a nice, clean skin look because you want your eyes to pop. I really like to use a bronzer that has mica in it, which is means those little shimmering bits. Not so much that you look like a disco ball, but just gives definition to the face. I go into the cheekbones, where you would normally put a little blush, but instead you're using bronzer. And then, bring it into the crease of your lid, and just sort of like brings it all together. Now the lip. I'm gonna use a liner. It should be more of like a nude lip. I'm gonna go in with a liquid lip. I'm gonna use it with my finger and kind of like use it like a stain. I forgot to curl my lashes. What was I thinking? True story, I was on a movie one time and you know this little rubbery thing wasn't inside. Guess what happened to my lashes? They got a haircut. Mascara, last piece of the puzzle. I think mascara is that last product that transforms the whole look to level instantly like you can really pile on that mascara and I would even encourage trying to form little clumps because it just gives you that more dramatic 60s fashion vibe I'm done oh wait I need a dramatic here she is here she is <laughs> <laughs> all right guys for more Vogue videos subscribe Right here, right there.